What's up, Terrarians? My name is Cargo, and welcome back to another episode of the Spirit Mod. And today, we're going to actually be taking another look at Infernon, because apparently we missed some items that are actually really crucial to progression and should be really awesome to get. So I'm excited to fighting him out. And then we will also be taking on maybe possibly the twins or another mech boss. I don't really know. Uh, I don't plan on uh, doing too much with Infernon. I just want to get my items and get out. So, uh, but I found out also that there are some new potions that we could use. So I'm going to do that. I need to make some pain callers actually. So let me do that real quick. I know we have one that we could make. Okay, we have 28 souls a night. I did a little bit of farming. I didn't remember how much I did. So technically, I think I could make seven with this. I want to start off by making three. We'll see how we get with that. I'm specifically looking for the um, the shield that it, that he drops. I really want that shield. I think that would be super helpful for us. So I'm going to grab a few of everything today. We're going to be spending lots of money on potions, and that's A-OK. -okay. Uh, I want Rage. I want Life Force. I want Wrath. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, Regen. So get Magic Regen. Get Mana. Or, sorry, Mana Power. Magic Power, Mana Regen. There we go. Final answer. And then I also wanted to take a look at these other uh, things. Whatever they're called. Nope, that's the Calamity. And more potions? Oh, no, no, spirit potions. There we go. So what do we got? We got greatly increases jump height. That's pretty bomb. And critical strikes may poison hit foes. Increasingly increases critical strike chance by four. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Oh, I grabbed, I got, I got four of them apparently. So we'll do that. Everything's good. I don't think I need other potions. Um, I do want to use, oh, but it has the 6% crit chance. Plus the 4% crit chance. Oh, that's 10%. Versus our 15% damage and already our 4%. Oof. I think I'm going to use the Sorcerer Emblem for now. I really like this this Fiery Lash, though. I really like that weapon. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and head down into... Oh, I don't want to want to get rid of our Battle Potions real quick. Perfect. And then... Okay, I don't have that anymore. We're good. I hope you all enjoyed the, the Hardcore episode. We're back with a new character, if you guys didn't see. Uh, and we're doing well. We've got... We survived a couple of nights. I was thinking about doing like the 100 days of Hardcore Terraria or something like that. So I'm counting these days and maybe we'll turn it into like a, a mini series where I'll recap our days of Terraria. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It sounds like a lot of work. A lot of time that I don't have. All right. So we're going to buff up. We're going to do all that. I forgot, but we need to actually wait on uh, our life regen, but we've already got that down. So now we're going to go ahead and spawn in Infernon, and I'm just going to show all this again, just in case you missed it from the last time. Man, this is not an easy fight. <laughs> I need him to stop moving. I don't know when he stops. But uh, I was reading the wiki, and apparently he's not supposed to summon that little demon head until like halfway through the fight, but that is... Oh, dang it, we got hit by that. That is not the case. And I'm wondering, did... why isn't he slowing down? Because normally he had stopped by this point, right? We just need to be better. Oh, I didn't even see him teleport there. How was I supposed to know? Oh, there we go. He's, he did that. Oh, man. Oh, he, he's, he's a quicken. Oh, my gosh. We're actually going to die here. I'm not going to live this. Did we get lucky last yesterday again? Is that just what happened? Because I really thought... Okay, so we're at 100 HP. Oh, the... Oh, shoot. I hate it. I hate it so much. I have a heal in like 10 seconds. Oh, 13 seconds. Oh, please just die. No! We killed him! Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. That was awful. <laughs> uh, that, I, what do we do differently there? Just be better at dodging, I guess? This is like my... I'm warming up, okay? I'm warming up. What is the fire last year? Does it give us any defensive stats? New my names are in Gold and Flames. You emit Fiery Glow. Yeah, no. It doesn't give us anything defensively. We'll still use this then. Oh, that was close. <laughs> we were doing tons of damage. We need a DPS meter. Badly. I thought we had one. I could have sworn we had a DPS meter by now. Oh, well. That's okay. Um, oh, I think we do. I think we have a goblin tech, actually. Why is that missing? All right, let's open this up. So we got the mask this time. And then, oh, we got the char fury. Oh, sick. Oh, another melee weapon. Oh, this is awesome. Actually, I think I think that's better than than the um than the javelin. 
Except it combusts, hits foes with additional causing flames to intensify. I mean, I kind of like that. We'll keep that. But this is pretty sweet. So shoots out two blazes that causes foes to combust. Multiple hits causing the combustion to deal more damage. Okay, so... Like, if we hit it... Oh, oh, so it has a chance to combust? Because it's, it's not combusting all the time. I don't know. I like it. We'll use it, maybe. The Amethyst Staff... I can't, I can't believe we renamed it to Amethyst Staff. But the Amethyst, Amethyst Staff is awesome. Now, let's actually look at this new armor. I forgot that we could make new armor set. So, maximum mana. Oh, so it, it's just a a mage weapon. Okay. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a lot of stuff. And then it also makes the Brimstone Blaze, which is post-mech, or at least post-twins. That's a cool shoots a Brimstone Laser that explodes into Brimstone Blaze. Okay, we need that. We need to do that. Um, let's go ahead and do we make this set real quick? I kind of want to try it. Let's make it because we have the materials and then we'll, we'll take another look at it. So, oh, what is that? We just, we just looked at it. Pain monger, pain monger set. Okay. Craft the helmet. I just want to see the differences. I, I'm kind of sad that we didn't really use the melee portion of this, but realistically, our Seraph armor didn't have a ton of melee capabilities. Like, I mean, increased melee speed, but like, cool, I guess. I don't know. All right. So we can close all this, hit all the buttons. We currently have 44 defense. Our set bonus is being near enemies, increased life regen, increased melee speed, and reduces mana cost by 6% per enemy. Can stack up to three times, which is pretty sweet. And then our, we have 32 defense, way less. Whoa. That's 12 defense we're missing out. And we have a set bonus of 125%. Defense is increased by 4, but Infernal Guardians surround you. Infernal Guardians vastly increase magic, magic damage and reduce mana cost. Getting hurt may spawn multiple exploding Infernal Embers. Oh. So it increases our mana, increases mage crit chance and mana consumption, and increases magic damage. I say we give it a shot. You know, what's the worst that could happen? We die. We, we're used to that. We're used to dying, okay? Uh, I am going to quickly grab a life force and then heal this way just so that we have max HP. I always forget to do this. But Madeline, I need you over here. I don't think I've ever had a nurse die. Actually, I don't think if any of these NPCs have actually died. I feel like that's not true, but I feel like I've been protecting my NPCs. I talked about in my hardcore series that what if there was like a game mode that, or like a way to beat it, like a challenge to not have any NPCs die. Like, that'd be a pretty sweet challenge, right? It'd be kind of hard to justify, like, or, like, to prove that NPCs haven't, did it, haven't died. You know what I mean? It'd be on the honor system. Okay, so buff up. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking nonsense over here. Pain caller, you here. I'm excited to see the guardians. So, are, are we doing more damage? I actually forgot to look if our overall damage or our weapons had increased or not. Are, are you stuck over there? See, why are you stuck at that point, but not stuck when I actually want you to be stuck? Okay, we're just doing way better at dodging. Oh. Aw. Okay, that's a lot of damage, though. Well, he's just standing still. See, in the first fight, he wasn't doing that at all. I don't know. Maybe maybe he break. Hello? The, the, the song got really intense right there. <laughs> I don't remember hearing that. Oh, we need a... S uh oh Ow, it hurts my body. I took a lot of damage there. We just ran out of mana, so I had to wait for it to... Uh oh. No, oh, it hurts so badly. Oh, I hate it. All right, die. Oh, we did it. Oh my gosh, all that damage. Sorry, it wasn't really talking. So what did we get? We got the Fiery Lash and the Seven Sins. What's the Seven Sins do? Extremely weak knockback. Candy shoots out a Fire Lash that combusts enemies. So, I'm confused. I would love to see the Fiery Lash. I guess not. I mean, it's, it's a cool bow. It does a lot of damage. It's pretty fast. I do like that. But I think I'm good. Well, let's go ahead and spawn this in again, then, I, I guess. If we're just waiting here. You know, might as well. Oh, it hit, it hit us. Oh, my. See? You're way more intense this time around. Oh, he's slowing down. Oh, he actually... Oh, and he's shooting homing stuff. I didn't even notice that. I did not notice that the first time. Oh, my. Please stop hitting me. Why? Why? Oh. I feel like this fight is way different from the first one. Or in the second one. Okay, he's dead. Now we got the Infernus Skull, which does... Dude, the Amethyst Staff. Look at all that damage. 
actually insane. Like, incredible. Thank you so much. Oh, can I just please get the one thing that I want? I want the shield. Okay, so I need to go make more pain colors. I'm going to make all five of the summons that I can make. So we'll get rid of all of this. Pain colors. Perfect. We'll make all four. Keep that in there. We'll deposit our money. Our money bags. I mean, only eight gold. Like, that's actually not a lot. Ooh. I also want to do a quick heal. Perfect. All right. I'm going to skip all this. I, I, I said I was going to not show any of the fights past the first one, but I've shown all of them. I, I want I want to check out the mech bosses. I want that the episode to be about that, not, not Pain Monger. All right. So that's the last one. I haven't opened up any treasure bags because I wanted to just show all of them to you. So hopefully we're just looking for the shield. I don't know what the chances are, but I, I hope, I hope, okay? Come on. We got not what we want. Not what we want. Hey, that's also not what we want. But that's a sick, awesome weapon, I'm pretty sure. It takes three seconds? What? It better be amazing. It better be absolutely incredible for three whole seconds. Oh my gosh. Well, we didn't get the, the shield. Dang it. We got... <laughs> Oh my goodness. What what do I need to do, game? Can I just buy them? I think I'm going to try buying the bags. Let's see if the the person sells them. Does this that has no value? That's so sad. Okay. We'll get rid of all of these cuz I don't care for them. I'll get rid of one of these. I'll keep you. I guess. I, this thing looks awesome. It says it's homing, so I don't know. Maybe it's really good. Maybe it's really bad. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Where's our operator? Can you, can we just buy bags? Come on. Modded treasure bags number three. No. Modded treasure bags number two. <gasps> we can. Two platinum. What? Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a no-go. Can I change shop? Thank you. Okay, I'm clicking shop changer. What is, what is going on? Shop changer? Oh, it's, it's, is that the reason? Stop. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I can't not click shop bag number two. Okay, well, I can't even do it anyways. Uh, who sells summons? Can I, can I buy summons from somebody? Does anybody sell summons? Because I don't want to go back and just farm for souls. I don't know. Well, I really want the shield because the shield is awesome. I really want to... It frees up an entire inventory slot. And it's really cool. Um, I'm, I'm going to farm for it. I'm going to farm for it. I'll be right back. We'll get some farming done. It'll all be worth it, okay? I promise. All right, after much, much farming, I've got six more treasure bags to open here. So let me put everything else away. We got a couple of demonic, or we got hellfires. I think I think I have like three of them now. So that's pretty sweet. But I think we're ready. One. We got it. No, that's a trophy. Dang it. Oh, this thing looks sick. Uh, oh, it's a yo-yo. Yeah, it throws out a flail. Okay, yeah, there it is. I couldn't see it at first. I read about this. So the hits foes combust, hit foes combust with successful hits increasing the power of the debuff also shoots out a spiky ball that inflicts broken armor. Pretty friggin' awesome. Hey, there it is, Infernal Shield. Oh, thank goodness. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, we got a second one? Two in a row? A, a third one? I was gonna say, can we get fourth in a row? Three in a row? This is a joke, right? This You're kidding me? Okay, so this can combine with the uh, Shield of Cthulhu, the Obsidian Shield, and the Infernal Shield. I'll just use a blank one. And I forget what it's called, so let me actually look it up. It's called the Firewall, which is just an amazing name. Firewall, boom! And it's combined into one, and now we free up an accessory slot, and now we can use the Fiery Lash. Just like that, we increase 10% uh, of our damage, or luck, the uh, crit chance. There we go. That's pretty awesome. That is quite the upgrade, actually. So I'm going to sell everything else because, wow, was that miserable. Okay, I'm going to keep the trophy, but I'm just going to try to make as much money as I can off of this. Sold, sold, sold. I can't believe we can't sell the torment sh uh, shards. It's honestly really sad. All right, I think we're good with that. Go ahead, deposit everything, get out of our money, and now we're going to try to s see if we can spawn in some mechanical stuff. So we can do 
Ooh, the destroyer would be an awesome one. With everything that we've got, I think destroyer would be the perfect boss for this. Okay, so we'll do the destroyer first. I really do want to do the twins because I want that new magic weapon. But let's just beat a boss, you know? And if, if there's a boss to beat, it's the mechanical worm, all right? Or the destroyer. And that's Well, I guess it is a mechanical worm. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. But I'm going to wait till nighttime, so I'll see you guys in just a second. Right, so we're about a minute out, so I'm going to use my life force potion just so we can regen. Oh, and we probably need some, uh, what's it, what are they called? The, um, the shiny boys and the night owls. So we'll grab a shiny and a night owl just like that. Perfect. You're welcome, mobile gang. I realized I didn't even, uh, read what the firewall does. So it gives us four additional defense. Does it not? Oh, it does. Okay, okay. So it gives us the four additional defense. Negates knockback, and then it uh, we dash like normal, but it also leaves this trail of like poison or something like that. It's awesome. I like it a lot. So we are now geared up. We're buffed up, and it is the destroyer time. Okay, I'm making sure that we didn't get like any messages. Oh, oh my gosh, look at all that damage. Oh, come on, get over this way. Can we get like insane damage on the end tail here? Okay, we're also taking lots of damage. Jeepers. All right, we're good. Oh, we should have grabbed the, I always forget that the potions. Oh wait, no, we have one. Can't think of it. The heart reach potions are super helpful in the, the destroyer fight. Wow, this is a cakewalk. Oh, this is awesome. I love feeling strong in Terraria. It's one of the best things. It's why I like end game so much. A lot of people think end game is lackluster and like vanilla. And I agree, like it's unfortunate you can't use like the solar armor but the solar weapons man oh they're so good they really are i love that part of the game and like in calamity when you just feel like you could take on anything in the world and like doing boss rush that's like my favorite feeling i i would do an entire let's play just to feel like that you know but thankfully i also enjoy the rest of the game Ooh. okay so we're doing loads of damage this is fantastic I wonder if the uh, the Infernal Javelin would have been nice. Yeah, it probably would have done a lot more damage if we had melee armor. That's pretty sweet. Okay, I need to kill those uh, those pesky little probes. Okay, there's a lot of lasers being fi fired at me. Ooh, we did it. Oh, we got a Destroyer Blueprint? What is what is this? What's a Destroyer Blueprint? Okay, so the spirit spread through the land. I've been, I've been expecting this. I forgot about it, but I've been expecting it. So we have a new biome to check out for next episode. But I want to look. Uh, material warning release may cause seismic anomalies exceeding of. Oh, it's exceeding 10F. I <laughs> listed of. Uh, so it makes. Wow. Whoa. Post Moon Lord weapon. And a just a post destroyer weapon. The probe. It makes. Oh, so we would need to re get that again. Okay, okay. Well, I don't want to, like, does. I can get more destroyer blueprints, right? Right? Okay, so we have that. What does the Soul of Might make? Does it make us anything new? It makes a new axe. Tyrana's Fury increases melee knockback when under half HP. Gain 18% increased melee speed. Oh, it, wait, that's a... That is a one of these things. I can think of it. Yes, this. Accessory. Accessory? Yeah, an accessory. <laughs> there we go. That's sick. Tyrana's Fury. Really increases melee knockback when under half HP, gain increased melee damage and 25% melee speed. Dang, that's crazy. Uh, we got the Zambat blade. Oh, that's kind of cool. Does it do anything special? Probably not. I don't know. But then that's it, right? And then blurring potions and all that. Yeah, that's all that's new. Well, very, very. Oh, wait, what the heck? Fulva's Bulbs Missile Barrage rapidly shoots out exploding missiles of energy. See, that sounds amazing. What is this thing? Fulls magic missiles? What are you- Oh, you have to make this too? Fulls arcane bolt? How do you make arcane bolt? What the? Dude, this is awesome! This is like the zenith of mage weapons. Oh, we need to try this out. What the heck? Yes, we need to make this. Okay, now we know what we need to do. Easy peasy. Right, so sorry for the awkward jump cut. I got a phone call. But that is going to be the- uh, end of our episode today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and skelly manhand slap that like button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're new here, we're very, very close to 300 or 30,000 subscribers here on the YouTube channel. So please uh, drop a subscription if you're new and you like Terraria Let's Plays or if you like Boxel. You like Boxel and you made it this far? A, thanks for watching. But B, we got more Boxel videos coming out soon. So be on the lookout for those. 
stay awesome, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.